What's up, guys? It's your boy, Justin. Back at it. With some Animatica 6. Yeah. Extreme close up. Yeah. Pause for dramatic effect. <laughs> so, if you recall last time, guys, we got that windmill going. The one up at the top of our building. Yeah, yeah. It's making us some, um, F E I F, whatever it is. And honestly, it'll probably just stay up there because I'm not going to run a bunch of cables and wires down here. Nah, dude. What we are going to do today is do some more immersive. I wish these things would, like, come up when you, like, get rid of the... Oh. Get rid of the grass. <laughs> But we're gonna find something to do with these seeds, cause look at all of these seeds, yo. Like, we get a ton. And really, like, uh, we need more seeds than we do hemp, cause like, we I think we got enough hemp to last us a hot minute when it comes to immersive. Because you really only need that for, like, the covered cables and such. But we can use the seeds in the squeezer to make plant oil. And then once we get a more sustainable, like, fruit farm going... Then we could use the fruit and the fermenter. So we have the squeezer. It's going to go here. Fermenter here. And then we can combine those into biodiesel. And then we can make a biodiesel generator. And then we got a ton of IF. I think it's IF. It's all RF. But then we could use that to run an excavator because that's our ultimate goal is to get the excavator going because we need the materials and we need all the stuff and the things so uh, I have been see like I was getting a bunch of like quests and stuff because like I already made oh uh, you know probably what it was is like I was making some of these guys and it was giving me quests for them. Yeah. Cause we're going to be making this stuff, ethanol, plant oil, the industrial squeezer and fermentator. I oh, really you want me to have 12 scaffolding. See, this is why it pays to pay attention to the quests there. <clears throat> because had we not done that, we would have had to make some more eventually, sometime, somewhere. So, this is all the stuff and the things that we're going to need for the squeezer. I went ahead and crafted these because it's no fun sometimes just sitting there watching you craft a bunch of stuff. So, as you recall last time, I showed you the projector. Now, this thing is cool because, like, it shows you, like, where things need to go. So, we kind of want to have it close to this guy because we're going to pipe stuff over from this chest into our squeezer. But we also need it close to the f the fermentator and then the thing to combine them, the refinery. I think it's the refinery, question mark. I'm not quite sure, but also let's make sure we're kind of in a chunk. So let's go there. Sure. So how do you, how do you set it? 
a word. There we go. All right, so let's take junk borders off. So these are ghost blocks. You can walk through them. You can place through them. So you do have to be careful. So that's fluid out because we want it because our ultimate goal is to be kind of over here because these things these block these multi-block structures get rather big like super some of them can be like pretty big guys oh um, there's that's right there is another light engineering block Two, 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 three, four. We'll come up here. Piston. Uh, rip. Ah, uh, to uh, flip you around. All right, give me my wrench. There you go. So now you see it's highlighted green to tell us that we have made the block. And kind of typically what I do, I clear that out. So there we go. So we have items in here. Blue in. Blue in. Liquid out. Power goes here so you know what we may end up having to initially run some cables go bloop bloop what are you that is interesting like what is that I've never seen that before but yeah we're probably gonna have to run some RF over here because these things do take some power. But so basically what you do with this guy is go boom, 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 like so. And then it squeezes and makes plant oil. Pretty freaking cool if you add. So like how? Hold shift control and yeah, there we go selection mode there we go like I'm still not like used to this thing at all from enter yes confirm from enter no Fermenter. Confirm. There we go. Good lord. That is difficult. So that way we're not running like things kind of like everywhere. Let's put you there. And then let's get you guys like some of these things are like really weird like because i'm i i am not used to 116 mechanics at all i'm used to playing 112 uh what are you oh you're the cauldrons did i not i didn't grab them yeah this took a lot, a lot of iron, guys. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Bada bing. All right. So this guy, you put fruit in and it makes um, ethanol. And then combine the ethanol with the, um, whatchamacallit, the ethanol and the fruit juice, the fruit stuff. 
and you make biodiesel. Then you can throw the biodiesel into a, I think it's a distillery, I'm pretty sure. And then that makes the um, uh, biodiesel. You know, I may end up like, let's go bring that guy down. I don't want to run like a bunch of like stuff down. And that's going to be a pain in the butt. I think it's going to be a little bit too much. Yeah, it looks nice at the top of our building, but it is not practical for what we are trying to accomplish today. Now, the next thing we really got to work on is um, something a little more sustainable for the the press, the fermentator, because our tree farm is good with the apples and the bananas, but you know, quite honestly, it doesn't produce that much. So we're gonna have to look into probably making another farm for that. Let's go ahead and just get these guys. And <clears throat> set everything, connect dynamo, windmill, two of you, two of you, one of you. And we'll go ahead and knock those down and we'll just take the shortcut down. Whoa, that almost killed us. Whoa, <laughs> I did not, oh, I did not think that that was gonna happen. All right, so we need, oh shoot, power there and power there. So honestly, it would probably be beneficial to put this guy over here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and actually I probably need to do that the other way, dang it. And let's just make it a little bit higher because I think the higher the out it goes, um, the more IF that you can generate. So let's go do that right quick. We'll get some, some more logs. We're not gonna make it a stack high. Huh? That would be too, too difficult running like stuff down but we might make it like say like 10 high and we need kind of the you know let's think about this right quick um, um cuz um Because power's got to go there. We're eventually going to have more stuff there. I mean, really, we just put it right here. Oh, I made them even, an even number. Uh, uh, rip. Yeah, right here is good. Um, yes, yeah, so that is where we want. So we can go here. And actually, I'm going to put these guys on top of here. See, look, there it goes. See, like now it's squeezing. And see, there's the plant oil. There we go. So then we'll boop, 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 and we'll come up here, and that'll be power in there. This guy will come over here. Sorry if you can hear a dog barking. Like, <laughs> opposite side. 
output power. There we go. Um, my neighbor, I guess, decided to go walk their dog. Oh, I'm going to need... Actually, we're going to need a connector. Uh, the other guy. Not... Not the connector. But... Oh, this one. Relay. We have it. Because... A, a relay can take multiple wires and split it. Those guys can't. So we'll go... Um, boop. Really, I can't attach the wire there? Oh, that's envy. That's why. I need the LV. Did I not? Oh, I guess I didn't make LV connectors. So let's go make one of those real quick. I thought those were LV. That's why I thought. I'm like, what do you mean I can't connect it? We must have got those as a reward. So let's put those back in our backpack. I don't think I have any of those guys. LV connector. Let's just double check right quick. So I don't think we have made those. No. All right. So LV relay. So we need copper and terracotta. Oh, that's bronze. Like a uh, so. Oh, yeah. And that makes eight. That's more than sufficient for what we need for our application. All right, let's eat some more because, like, we, are, we literally almost died jumping off the roof. See, that looks kind of cool down here. I ain't going to lie. I like I like it. All right, so let's go boop 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 boop. You cannot attach the wire to the same point. What? So let's put you there to there. There to there. There we go. And there to there. There. So see now, I mean, it's slow, like a uh, super slow, but we have this so let's let's go get some apples right now so i can at least show you guys kind of how this works and then between this episode and next episode i will look into a better kind of fruit uh source for ethanol Maybe we can do like a carrot farm. Um, because we're going to need like all of the fruit. And this will just kind of be temporary power for now. Like it's, see there's the ethanol. See I don't know why it's doing like, I only put two in there. But whatevs. Yeah, see, it's slow. This does not... <laughs> this does not generate a lot of power, guys. But... For right now, it does what we were expecting to do. So real quick, I guess while we got some time, 
So I want a bucket of each. Uh, do we have enough for a bucket yet? Yeah, we do. There's a bucket. And there is that quest completed. But also, let's look to see what else that we could possibly do for ethanol. Because we might be able to use, I'm, I think we can use carrots. Because I know you can make, you can use carrots for the, the gas burning generator and mechanism. So let's, let's take a look at ethanol so we got peanuts oh you can use you can use vegetables um so they they all do 80 oh we do wheat but see the wheat farm is pretty slow potatoes uh carrots yep oh melons only give 20 uh so that Melon slices, that is. Yeah, I think it looks like everything gives 80 millibuckets. Ooh, beetroots, but I'm going to have to deal with the seeds. Soybeans give 8. Yeah, 80, 80, 80. Yeah, I think everything seems to give 80 millibuckets eggplant yeah see even apples give like 80 bananas give 80 so yeah i i'm pretty sure i'll probably end up making like a carrot farm because like <clears throat> The, even like these guys this has been going on for a while and look how like little like this stuff grows so slow um or maybe we'll just chuck down like more trees because this is really only plant and like it's not really planting anything on the inside but because, I mean, I don't know. I'll have to think about it because we need a lot. And I think, like, a fruit farm, a veggie farm will probably be better. If I'm being honest, because, like, um... It's, I think they just grow faster. Maybe like carrots will grow better in one of these guys. I don't know. I wish we could do like squeeze hemp. Like this stuff grows so fast. Um, or could you do sugar cane? Question mark. I didn't see sugar cane. Oh, you can, you can. Hmm, maybe we make a sugar cane farm. Because it is apotheosis, and they grow, like, super high. But then again, if we're doing a farm like this, um... Well, I guess we need a sugarcane farm anyways for like paper and stuff. So maybe I'll do another one of these guys. But with sugarcane and that could be like a like our main thing for squeezing. But as the backup for like paper and sugar, that could work. You know, I can make one of those like right here. Yeah. I don't know, I'll think about it. Because, well, with the sugar cane, i got to have more water. 
Like I can't just go with one here. It would have to be kind of all like a checkerboard pattern. So I wouldn't be getting as much quote unquote bang for my buck for space. So I think probably the carrot farm carrots. Yeah, probably is going to be the, the best bet. I'll just make a little bit of a bigger one. Probably about this size where it's five because that's I think this is only four yeah this is only four so at least this way it gives us one extra row of stuff but I think that I can do that in between episodes but there we go we've got the squeezer going we've got plant oil and we got ethanol guys I think that is pretty good we did have to move our windmill down, but I think it's pretty good. But anyways, guys, I think that's going to be a good wrapping up point. Don't forget to come check me out on Twitch. I stream every Saturday at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am trying to find a way to be able to upload my Twitch VODs. Um, I'm still trying to figure out a way to not have the music play because I do have some music that kind of plays in the background on Twitch so it's not so quiet on the longer stream so I'm still working on that once I get that figured out I'll definitely make a uh, playlist for my Twitch VODs because I'd like to be able to go back and watch them at a later date anyways because like Twitch doesn't really save them for a long time and at least with YouTube they're saved indefinitely but anyways guys if you like the video give a like leave a comment subscribe you know what to do and as always, guys, I'll catch you next time. Peace out.